There's a storm out on the ocean, and it's moving this way. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus, you will surely, surely, surely. Drift away, drift away, Lord. Yeah, 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 drift away, Lord. You are surely drift away. Oh, if your soul ain't good in Jesus, you are surely, surely, surely. There's a storm out. On the ocean, and it's moving this way. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus, you will surely drift away. My soul's gonna be anchored in Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. That's my choice. Yes, Lord. I made Jesus my choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Praise Hallelujah. God. Praise him, praise him, praise him. We thank and praise God for our devotional service and how you participated. Now we'll turn it over in the hands of the pulpit. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Put your hands together and give him praise. Hallelujah. Somebody can't even move their hands this morning. But we praise God that we have ours and we're able uh, to move them. We thank God for another Sunday morning and Sunday morning service. We praise God to see our pastor come in and thank God for how he's keeping him. And we just praise God. We want to lift up. Uh, allow the Holy Spirit to lift us up today and have a great time, have a fantastic time. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let the anointing flow, domino effect, from one to the other, all over the building, so that we can lift up the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Most loving and kind Savior, we thank you for another chance you blessed us lord to wake up one more time and then you blessed us to enable us to dress ourselves lord and make it to the house of prayer we thank you lord god because you watched over us all night long woke us up on due time this morning we ask you to forgive us for all of our many sins and thought word and deed cleanse us lord from all our unrighteousness, create in us clean hearts and renew right spirits within us. We are asking you today, Lord, to have mercy upon our pastors. He stands before us and brings the bread of life, breaks the bread of life to us. And have mercy, Lord, upon the waiting congregation and let your spirit move. Let us not quench your spirit and just let your spirit move throughout the building. And we thank you, Lord God. We praise you. We glorify you. Thank you for those that have assembled themselves together, those that are yet on their way, Lord. Keep them safe from hurt, harm, and danger. Come in to this house, Lord Jesus. Come on in to this house. You desire to abide in the praises of your people. So we lift our hands as we lift our hearts and we offer up this praise unto your name. Put your hands together and offer up that praise. <laughs> Stand for our responsive reading, please. Our responsive reading is found in Matthew chapter 10, verses 16 through 20. It's in our bulletin. They have it say amen. amen. 
Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. And they shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. All together, for it is not ye that speak but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. Amen. Amen. to praise him I love to praise him I love to praise him I love to praise him Oh I love to praise his holy name I love to praise him I love to praise him. I love to praise him. Oh, I love to praise him. Oh, and, oh he's my rock. Yes, he is. Oh, he's a wind in the middle. I know he'll never, never, never. Just a jewel that I have found. Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! I love her. Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! I love to praise his name. Oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! I love to praise his name. Oh, I love. Oh, he's a wind. He's a wind. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's my wind. I know he'll never, never let me down. He's just a jewel that I find. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, I love to praise the name, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, I love to praise oh, I love to grow, oh, I love to, I love to praise him, I love to praise him, I don't get enough of praising him, because he's worthy, Oh, I love His holy, hallelujah, His holy name. Watch that choir. Somebody love to praise His name. Amen. I can't praise Him enough.
Good morning, Second of St. Paul. Today is Sunday, March 17th. This morning we celebrate the voices of Second of St. Paul Annual Day. Amen. Ministry roll call may be presented during the offering period. Sister Sandra Wright is the president. Friday, March 29th, 1 to 3 p.m., the number one usher board will sponsor a Good Friday seafood platter sale. There will be pre-orders only. Platters are $20, sandwiches are $10. Order forms are in the back on the bulletin table. Next Sunday is Palm Sunday, and the following Sunday is Easter. Also, we celebrate the Missionary Youth Day. Um, guest preacher will be Reverend Ryan Dixon from the Word of God Baptist Church in University Park, Maryland. Love offering addressed to Reverend Dixon may be presented during the offering period. Deaconess Susan Stewart is president of the Missionary Ministry. Sister Leslie Bourne is president of the Youth Fellowship Ministry. Saturday, May 11th, 8 a.m. to 2.45 p.m., 2024 Grace, Mercy, and Favor Kingdom Conference at the Drury Plaza Hotel, 11049 West Broad Street in Glen Allen, Virginia. Pastor Reverend Brenda Campbell Robinson and is the Kingdom Visionary. Check-in is from 8 to 8.30 a.m. And we all know who Brenda Campbell is. Amen. Uh, Chairman Deacon Blandon and Brother Ronnie Stevens are absent today. They are not feeling well and they are asking for prayer. Also, Sister Janelle Jackson was hospitalized last week. She is home now and doing better. Order forms for the second New St. Paul anniversary book is available on the bulletin table in the back. I got a, a message from Sister Paula at Nowden the other day. She said there is a typo on the flyer where it clearly reads here it's $60. Down here it says 50. It's 60 dollars, okay? <laughs> so um, if you need one, I believe there are more forms on the back table there. <clears throat> Following a uh, reading of the guidelines, we will hear from the men's day chairperson, Junior Deacon Maurice Toy. <laughs> Thank you is the thoughtful things people do for us that make all the difference. Your thoughtfulness meant so much to me, and I just want you to know I truly appreciate it. Regards, Sister Sally Claiborne and family. Sister Sally is here today. Where are you, Sally? There she is. She's here today. So good to see you. Yeah. She lost her husband a few weeks ago, so it's good to have you back. Guidelines for attending church. To all who attend Sunday school and worship service, we encourage you to be vaccinated. Until further notice, the Franklin Street door will be the only entrance and exit, and all services will remain streamlined and modified. Inter until further notice, the wearing of face masks is optional. Upon entry, each person must have their temperature checked. If your temperature is 100.4 or higher, entrance will be denied. Hand sanitizer and face mask are available. Once inside the church, members and guests are not to venture beyond the main vestibule, first floor restrooms and sanctuary. The Crystal Room Cafeteria, Kitchen and Education Center will be off limits to everyone. No one is allowed upstairs except for the trustees. Sunday school class will begin promptly at 9.15 in the sanctuary and will end at 10.15. This will be the only class available in the church. We recommend you arrive by nine o'clock. Any personal communication with Pastor Benjamin must be done by a written note, or you may contact him on the number indicated here in the bulletin. Devotion will begin promptly at 1020. Service will begin at 1030. We recommend you arrive by 10 o'clock. There will be one offering, and ushers will not pass around offering baskets. For your convenience, offering envelopes have been placed behind each pew. Offerings must be placed in an offering envelope. We ask that you complete the envelope with your name, date, designated offering, and amount. If you need to use more than one envelope, you may do so. Members and guests will process to the tithe box 
where they may deposit their offerings. Missionary offerings are to be placed in an offering basket held by a trustee. During altar call, members and guests are to stand, remain in their pew, and pray. During Holy Communion, the covenant reading will be omitted. Members and guests are to process to the communion table to pick up their communion cup. Used communion cups are to be placed in cup holders behind the pews. At the end of the service, ushers will direct the congregation from the sanctuary. Everyone must exit the church immediately following the service. It's so good to see everyone today. God bless you. Have a great week. Good morning again. Good morning. Um, as we all know, the men's day draft for 2024 is in effect. Um, the assessment is $250, but if you don't have that, you get what you can. We No complaints here. We all good. Um, as Secretary McKenzie stated about the seafood um, drive that Sister Paulette now that is having, that is going on. And um, we're also going to have some other events that's going to happen um, for the Men's Day Drive as well. So you will know about that in due time. Um, and that's it.
Lord. I oh, I, I cannot say. Lord, let me walk. Each and every day, each day, they will be. Give the Lord some hand praise up in here. I want him to lead me and guide me along the way. I want him to lead me because I don't know where I'm going. But he knows. Hallelujah. Yes, indeed. Let's give the Lord some more hand praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We do give honor, first of all, to our Lord and Savior, yes, yes. Jesus Christ, and ministerial staff, to my wife, and official family, to others who are here, assembled together under the sound of my voice. Yes, yes. It's once more and again that the Lord has blessed all of us, and allowed us to be yet numbered among the living. We are here today, not because we are lucky, we are here today because of the grace of God yes. and the mercy of God yes. has pleaded our case Amen. and held back the hand of death yes. and the Lord allowed us to live on a little while longer. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give the Lord some hand praise. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. We, 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 we are just glad to see so many of y'all present here today. I, I pray, I said, Lord, I said, help these people to overcome uh, this, uh, the apprehension of COVID-19. That's my prayer, you know. You know, I, I don't, I don't want to stand up here and, and preach the benches. <laughs> uh, amen. That's right. Whatever that was. <laughs> amen. <laughs> I want somebody sitting in the pew, you know. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And it's good, it's good, it's good. But you know, the Lord, has, he's, he's, he's just good anyhow. He's, he's blessed us. Amen. Here at Second of St. Paul Baptist Church, there's a lot of blessings the Lord has bestowed upon this church. A lot of y'all don't even know anything about. Amen. God is good to this church. You know what I'm saying? I, I, can, see, I can see runaway blessings. That's what I can see. Runaway blessings. Amen. And he's still blessing in spite of. And I just thank God for it. I thank God for that. So let us continue to pray much. Uh, let, us, let us remember our men's day drive. As, um, as Brother Torres has pointed out, he's the chair, chairperson this year. Amen. I realize that we got a whole lot of things going on. You know, a whole lot of things have been brought to your attention. Amen. But we want you to be aware of the fact that the, uh, the men's day drive is in effect. Amen. And we want you to be sure that you support that. Amen. There's other things that you are that you have been made aware of that you are to support. But let us be mindful that we want to support our men's day drive. Amen. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. Bless your heart. Um, it's it's reported. And I'm quite sure you all are aware of this. It's reported that the Republican uh, Party has unveiled a radical agenda on voting laws. Amen. And so we got to be made aware, or we should be made aware of the fact that there's going to be somewhat of a disturbance, a derailing, you know, of the voting practices, you see, especially in areas where you have uh, uh, people of color. Uh, you know, uh, these Republicans are 
desperate, along with the Trump, to regain their political power over this country. And so I just, I, I just trust that we will be mindful of all of these things. Let us, let, let us be prayerful as well. I'm quite sure you, we all know that Biden and Trump are now the presidential candidates for both parties. Yeah, two old men, you know, running. Amen. Amen. Some people say, well, I don't know if I want to vote this year, you know, but, you know, but I'm, but the Lord's going to tell you something that's going to enable you to think about that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you want to vote. Amen. Yes, you want to vote. You don't want to just say, well, you ain't got nobody. No, nah, you want to vote. Oh, you want to, I don't, the Lord is going to tell you what to vote for. He's going to tell you that today. Is that all right? Yes, yes, yes. I know that we are all aware that that Trump has made and is still making numerous threats. One threat uh, that he has made is very, very, uh, you know, it's, it's very, very disturbing. He said if he is elected president, or if he's not elected president, I should say, there's going to be a bloodbath. Uh, I don't know how many of you all have heard that. You see what I'm saying? But that's, that, 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 that's sad. That's sad to hear something like that. You know, if he is not elected president, there's going to be a bloodbath. You see what I'm saying? He wasn't elected the last time, and he told this big lie. He told the big lie that he was. Amen. Yeah, so, so, so let us be made aware of these things. You know, and then he also has pointed out that, that if he's elected uh, president, he's going to pull out of NATO. You see, and he would allow Putin yeah, to attack the Allies. They said that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, th this man is just unbelievable. Yeah. He, he, you know, he's he just unbelievable. Yeah. You, you see, we got to we got to just pray that the Lord will just, you know what I'm saying, deal with him, and the Lord's gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Lord's gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? How can a large percentage of this country? of this country's population support somebody like that. And even evangelicals are in the, in, in, along with them. You that's know what right, I'm saying? That's right. And that's what I can't understand for the life of me. You know what I'm saying? You see, you know, he's tired of a democracy. He wants to be like Putin. You see, you know, they had, a, they had an election for Putin and he's, he, he done been elected to uh, serve, what, another, what, five years. You see what I'm saying? Yes, he, you know, and, and he wants, Trump wants to be like Putin. He wants to be like this here dictator that's in China. You see what I'm saying? The, the dictator that's in North Korea. You see what I'm saying? That thrills him. You know what I'm saying? You see, but we need to pray for him. You see what I'm saying? You see, the, we need to pray for him. Because you see what I'm saying? I, 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 don't know, I don't know about Russia having Christians. I don't know. They may have some. I don't know about China having Christians. They may have some. I don't know about North America having Christian. They may have some, but the United States got plenty. Yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah. We got plenty who who are not following Trump, and we got to pray. Uh, you see, we got to pray. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and God's going to answer our prayers. Yeah, He's going to answer our prayers. Rome, as I have said so many times, Rome can't sit on the throne forever. The truth crushed to the ground will rise. You see what I'm saying? Don't give up on what's right. Don't give up on what's true. Hold tight to it because it's in God's hands. Let us be made aware of that. Let's give the Lord some hand praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise his name. I do believe these are all the announcements that I have at this particular time. If there are any other announcements that you would like to have, maybe I'll ask that you please pass it to the pulpit by way of a note. All right, at this time we're going to prepare and make ready for the lifting of our offering I trust that we will do our very best to give what the Lord has blessed us to possess Amen but we do know the Lord loves a cheerful giver oh yes he does he loves a cheerful giver so let us continue to be a blessing to our church prayerfully let us continue to be a blessing to our church financially because the Lord is able to keep us Amen it's now in the hands of our ushers Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, God.
Let us all stand for the offertory of all things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. financial gifts given in the Lord's house on this another Lord's day. May the Lord bless you abundantly and sufficiently in return. It's prayer time. It's time for us to send up our petitions to heaven on high. We do know that God is a God who has listening ears. He's concerned about us in every way. We realize that when we pray, we must have faith knowing that God is going to answer our prayers. And we can't hurry him. We have to wait on him. And we have to wait on him because his timing is not our timing and our timing is not his timing. But he will answer. And we have to have the faith to believe that he will answer. Amen. Because he is a trustworthy God. He, he is a dependable God. Yes, indeed. Let us all stand at this time as Reverend Studdard will come and lead us to the throne of grace as he comes to pray. And let us zero in on that which we feel we need to tell God about. He already knows it, but he said, You have not because you ask not. And if you ask, it shall be given. If you seek, it shall find. If you knock, the door shall be open. Reverend Studdard. Let us pray. From everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Yes, yes, Lord, yes, yes. Fathers, once again, Lord, we come in the precious and the adorable name oh, yes, oh, yes. of Jesus the Christ. My Lord. Who is the author and finisher of our faith. Yes, yes. Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, thank you. For another Resurrection Sunday. Mm. A day that you have made, Lord. Yes. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. My Lord, my Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord, because you started at the appointed time. My Lord. When you touched all of us, Lord. Yes. And allowed us to see a brand new day. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. For Father, it could have been the other way, Lord. My Lord. But you saw fit for us to be here today. My Lord. And then not only that, Lord God, you gave us traveling mercy. Yes, to make it yes. here safe and sound. My Lord. To see our sisters and brothers one more time. Yes, yes. So, Father, we want to thank you for that. Thank you, Lord. Thank for you. the fellowship. Mm. Thank you, Lord God, because you've been kind to us. Yes, yes. Even Lord. when we haven't been kind to one another. Well, well. Father, well. we thank you, Lord. Thank you. Because Lord. you've been so good. Mm. You've been better than good to us, Lord. My Lord. So, Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Now, Father, we ask that you would touch this service. Please, Lord. Like yes. only you know how. Yes. For, Father, yes. we come to hear a word from you, Lord. My Lord, my Lord. But my also, Lord. Lord, we come to worship you in spirit and yes, truth. Yes, yes, yes. Because we realize, Lord God, when the praises go up. My Lord. The blessings sure enough come down. Come down, yes. And, Father, you have blessed us over and over and over oh, again. Oh, yes, oh, yes. So, Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Because Thank it you, sounds Lord. so good, Lord God. Hallelujah. Yes. You washed over us from one Sunday to another Sunday. Yes, Lord, yes. Lord yes. God, you allowed us to overcome the mishap and the accident yes. that was happening yes. around us. We, Lord, we didn't see the seen and unseen danger, but Lord, you had your hands on us, Lord. Oh, yes, and we just Lord. want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank Father, you. we thank you because you're still God and you're, you're God. God all by yourself, all by Lord God. Yourself. Father, I, I know that we are worrying about what's going on, Lord well, God. But well, well. Father, you said you do not give us the spirit of fear. Yes, 
Well, but well, the power well. and love and of a sound mind, Lord. Yeah. Lord, Trump can't do nothing because you still hold well, the world well. in your hands, Lord God. And yeah. we know that you still king of kings My and Lord. lords of lords. So, yeah. Father, we just want to say thank you, thank you Lord. because you are in control, Lord God. Yes, Lord. And yeah. you will always be in control, Lord. Yeah. We just want to say thank you thank for you, being Lord. our God. And we are your children, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. So Thank we don't you. have to worry. My Lord, my Lord. We just got to keep on keeping on. Yes, Lord. Holding on to your unchanging hands. Oh, yes, oh, yes. And when things get rough, Lord, we just need to hold just a little tighter. Yes, Lord. Because, yes. Lord God, you will bring us through. Bring us through, yes. Now, Father, we ask that you will touch our pastor. Please, Lord, please. Lord, he come and he's standing behind the wall. Yes, yes. Lord, we know that you've been working with him. We know that, Father God, you've been taking him down in the deep treasures of your word oh, and yes. oh, yes. saturating him with your word that he may come and preach to a waiting congregation, yes. Lord. Yes. Because, Father, we need the word more than we ever needed it before. Yes, Lord. Yes. So, Father, we pray that you will use him, yes. that he will continue yes. to sound the alarm, My Lord. My Lord. that he will continue to preach. Yes, the gospel in season and out of season. My Lord, my Lord. That he will continue to stand on the wall and tell it like my it Lord. is. Yes. That he will speak truth with power. My Lord. And be not afraid. Yes, yes. To tell a dying world that the wages of sin is still death. Still death. Yes. But the gift of God's eternal life through our Lord and Savior my Jesus Lord, Christ. My Lord. Now, Lord, I ask that you bless our people, Lord. Yes, Lord. I don't know what they stand in the need of. But I know that you are all-knowing God. Yes, yes. And you know everyone in the sound of my voice, Lord. My Lord, my Lord. You know where we live, Father. You know the numbers, hairs upon our ears. You know our ages, Lord God. My we Lord. pray that you will continue to cover us, Lord. Yes, Lord. And keep us. Now, Lord God, we ask that you will bless this service. Please, Lord. And when it's all said and done, yes. we hope that you are pleased, Lord God and what we have done now father we pray also lord that when we lay our heads down for the very last time the study war no more lord yes lord to not worry about the cares of this world mm. but lord we pray that you will prepare us a home over there yes lord. where job declared the wicked shall cease from trouble and our weary souls will be at rest i pray lord you will have thy own divine way yes lord because all the glory and honor go to you mm. and no one else. Mm. We ask these and other blessings in Jesus Christ's Jesus name. name. Let all of God's children say amen. Amen, amen, amen. We are indeed grateful to Reverend Stutterford for sharing with us fervent and effectual altar call. Invocation, let us continue to be prayerful let us continue to direct our attention toward heaven on high. We are in God's house on this another Lord's day. And we are here to make a joyful noise unto his name. We are here to praise him, to glorify him, to honor him. For truly he is worthy. All right, we're going to give way now to our choir and our musicians to share with us a selection. And I trust that we will invest something into our service a few amens a few thank you jesus's or amen whatever the spirit leads you to do amen amen and whenever you keep quiet don't don't think the spirit is encouraging you to do that amen <laughs> the spirit wants you to praise him amen bless your hearts Down, down at the cross where my Savior died. Down where for cleansing from sin I cried. There to my heart was the blood of life. Glory to His name. We're singing glory to His name, precious name, singing 
glory to His name, precious name. Oh, yeah, then to my heart was the blood of time. Glory to His name. I am so wondrously, I am so wondrously saved. Jesus so sweetly, just so sweetly abide within. Oh yeah, there at the cross, we ready to be singing glory to His name. We're singing glory to His name, precious name. Singing glory to this name, precious name. There, there to my heart was the blood of Him. Glory to His name. Come to this fountain. Come to this fountain, so rich and sweet. Cast thy poor soul. Thy poor soul at the Savior Plunge in today Within today And be made complete Glory to this man Glory to this name Precious name Oh, glory to this name, precious name, oh yeah, there to my heart was the blood applied. Glory to this name, we're singing glory to this name, precious name, oh glory to this name. Precious name, there to my heart, there to my heart was the blood of high. Glory to this name. Glory to his name. Amen, amen. Let's give the Lord some hand praise. Yes, all the glory to his name. He's well deserving of the glory, the praise, and the honor. Every head bowed at this hour. Loving Father, we come once again before your majestic throne of grace. In the name of Jesus, we come grateful, thankful, and appreciative. To know, merciful Father, that you have blessed us abundantly, tremendously, sufficiently, adequately. We thank you, Lord God, for your goodness and your being kind to us, loving us, having patience with us. Thank you, Lord God, for all the prayers you've answered, all the ways you've made, all the doors you've opened. Thank you, Lord God, for all that you have been to us. And all that you still are to us, we thank you, Lord. We just ask, Lord, that you would bless us now as we prepare to, to hear your word being preached in our hearing. Lord, I pray, merciful Father, that you would open the doors of our heart, open the doors of our spirit, open the doors of our souls. Enable us to be receptive to what you have to say to us from your word. Bless now, I do pray upon me, Lord. I pray your blessings upon me. I pray that you lift me out of self and fill me full of yourself and enable me to declare, preach, and proclaim your word as you would have me to proclaim it. And I pray that you would just bless as a result of it. And then, Lord God, when life's tedious march is over, I pray that you would receive us into your kingdom. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, Amen. amen. And Amen. Those of you who have your Bibles, we're going to ask that you turn to the book of Romans, the 13th chapter, 
and the first verse. Romans 13 and 1. Romans 13th chapter and the first verse. You will find these words. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. I said, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. I want to talk this morning from this title, A Need for Godly Power at the Poles. A need for godly power at the polls. Now that's sort of long, but to, uh, you all take your time, those of you who are writing it. Amen. Repeat after me. A need, A need for, godly for godly power at the polls. At the polls. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. At this particular point in time, my beloved, at this particular point in time in our country, we are witnessing political activity. And that's taking place in this midterm political season, which started January the 15th to September the 10th for the various states within our country. Are y'all going to pray with me? For at such a time as this, there is indeed a desperate need for every concerned and caring voter in the primaries as well as in the general election in November to be compelled, to be compelled to vote for a better tomorrow. Vote for integrity and honesty and vote for experience. For you see, Christians have, Christians have a great responsibility in elections. Unfortunately, some are guilty of shirking their duty because they are turned off by what they perceive as political corruption and party strife. They're tired, they're tired, I tell you, they're tired of negative ads, the finger pointing, accusations, and the deliberate lying. And there's been a whole lot of that going on, and there's still a whole lot of that going on. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yes, yes, which has left a good percentage of voters in a state of indecisiveness. For you see, voting is warfare. For the decisions we make on that voting day may affect certain things in our country far into the future. Now y'all gonna pray with me? Our vote is our voice against the forces of evil. And yet if we were honest, we would have to admit that only some casting their votes at the ballot box would remember to pause, bow their heads, and pray that their vote will make a difference. Are y'all going to pray with me? For you see, Christians, Christians have a great responsibility when it comes to the election of leaders who will govern us. Talk to me, somebody. Well, we should vote. We should vote carefully. Not for those who claim to be Christians, but, but in reality, they may not be. So therefore, we should vote for those who have demonstrated that they are guided by the principles of God's word. Are y'all going to pray with me? Firstly, my beloved, firstly, we as Christians must realize the necessity of government. The necessity of government. 
1 Corinthians 14, 40, commands us to let all things be done decently and in order. Are y'all going to pray with me? And then 1 Peter 4, 17 says, judgment begins at the house of God first. Which is to say uh, that in this corrupt and disruptive society, if any institution should represent right and stand for right, it has to be the church of God. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, if you pray with me, everything shall be all right. Paul, Paul says in our text, there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Are y'all going to pray with me? Unfortunately, those words are often misinterpreted. For you see, it does not mean that God ordained every buffoon. Who gets elected? Forgive my personal commentary. (laughs) Yes, we have to admit, my beloved, we have to admit, we've seen our share of clowns get elected. Now, 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 we can't blame God for that. If we did blame God, that would make God directly responsible for every fool who plays host to an insurrection. Think about it, if you will. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, yeah. That is certainly not what Paul is saying here. In Paul's day, hear me now. In Paul's day. How come it's somebody? Are y'all going to pray with me? In Paul's day. Young man, are you through? Are you through going out and coming back in? Huh? In Paul's day, the Roman emperor, the Roman emperor was the head of the government and chief of the entire population. His authority encompassed all of the provinces of Rome. Talk to me, somebody. Yeah, the authority of the emperor in Rome was to them a so-called divine right. And at that time of Paul's ministering, the Roman emperor, Nero, was in charge. And it was this same Nero who would one day chop off Paul's head. Talk to me, somebody. Y'all gonna pray with me? Yeah, yeah. Paul, Paul was certainly not saying that Nero was God's ambassador for good. No, no. For truly the pages of history will attest to many evil rulers. Well, it's even true that when we research Hebrew history from 586 B.C. all the way back to 722 B.C., it is revealed that Israel and Judah, the northern and southern kingdom, experienced 31 evil kings. Judah, the southern kingdom, only experienced eight good kings in that crucial period of time. Just just eight. Talk to me somebody out of 31. Are y'all going to pray with me? But let us be mindful that it is the position of government that God ordains and not the ruler in every case. For it is the position of government or the seat of government that God ordains and for good reasons. God ordains government for the protection of life and the protection of property. And according to 1 Peter 2 and 14, for the repression of evil. Yes, yes, my beloved, it's true that leaders are appointed to positions that should uphold order and punish evildoers. But when leaders carry out their duties with integrity and honor, God Almighty is pleased. He's pleased. Because that is the purpose of the government he ordains. But can you begin? Can you begin to imagine what it would be like without government? There would be chaos in our community. Much worse than what it is now. There would be extreme lawlessness. There would be no deterrent to evil. We would live in a world very much like one in the movie called The Purge. Yeah, yeah. Imagine having to live that way every day. I didn't see the movie, 
but I've seen some of the previews of it and I certainly don't recommend it being that way for myself or anybody else for that matter. Are y'all going to pray with me? For God knew, my beloved, God knew in his sovereign, omniscient attribute that we needed laws. Talk to me somebody. Because we have that sin nature. We was born with it. Huh? David said, in sin did my mother conceive me. Talk to me. The Lord knew that we needed laws. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why he gave us the Ten Commandments. Beginning with the first one, which was of the utmost importance. No other gods before God Jehovah. No worshiping of idols. The Lord's name is not to be taken in vain. The Sabbath day is to be remembered and kept holy. Father and mother are to be honored. No committing of murder. No committing of adultery. Refrain from stealing. Refrain from telling a lie on your neighbor. Refrain from coveting. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, these laws were meant to impose divine order in the lives of those who follow God. Talk to me, somebody. And they were and still are a necessity for good governing, both for Moses and the Israelites in their day, and by all means for all of the present population, even in this day. Talk to me, somebody. Secondly, we should recognize the responsibility of our governmental leaders. If we are to be subject to these higher powers, we should know the duties of each leader so we can hold them accountable. Because God sure enough will. Talk to me somebody. Are y'all going to pray? He will judge them for how they served in their roles as government leaders. Talk to me somebody. Did you not know God is even going to judge nations? Talk to me somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Oh yes, there's a judgment. Talk to me somebody. On his way. Talk to me somebody. If you pray with me, everything shall be all right. Yes, yes, yes. For you see, my beloved, you see, see, we as God's Christians are to submit to God's ordained authority by knowing and obeying his scriptorial laws. And, and we should hold our leaders accountable for living by those laws as well as by the laws of the land and enforcing them in a fair and just manner. Talk to me somebody. For it's true, my beloved, that many of our laws within our judicial system are made up from the scriptures. They're made up from the Bible. Talk to me, somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? So therefore, therefore, this is the way I look at it. Therefore, a copy of the Ten Commandments should be placed on every wall of the White House. Talk to me, somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? And on, and on all of the walls of Capitol Hill where voting on bills and policies are made. And on the Supreme Court walls, they should also hang some copies of the Ten Commandments, but, but only in great big old letters. Talk to me somebody. Because it seems that some of our Supreme Court justices have become discombobulated about what they are supposed to be and what they're supposed to do. Talk to me, somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, we have a messed up country if y'all want to. Talk to me, somebody. It needs prayer. Yeah, if you pray with me, everything shall be all right. Yes, yes, my beloved, it's true that in this election cycle, I'm deeply saddened by those who call themselves Christians but yet wave that confederate flag knowing that that flag was defeated and should have been taken down at the end of the civil war talk to me somebody am I right about it talk to me somebody if you pray with me everything shall be alright yeah yeah let us not forget that we are the children of honesty we are the children of truthfulness we are the children of light. Yeah. We are to let our light shine 
so that those in civil authority may see our unwavering interests yes. and our consistent concern yes. in establishing a good, godly leader to govern the people of this land. Bad leaders should have no place or position in government. No, no, no. But I realize that we must still, listen to me now, we must still out of respect for the office that God has ordained leaves us with no choice but to be obedient to those who occupy the position. So it stands to reason that there is a great responsibility attached to choosing them. Christians should be praying for leaders who are able to see the harm in greedy corporations. Talk to me somebody. Christians should be praying, praying for leaders who believe in justice and democracy. And who desire to uphold, to uphold the basic biblical values of honesty, integrity, kindness, and humility. And carry themselves in like manner. Are y'all going to pray with me? How wonderful, how wonderful it would be if our candidates could be measured on a godly scale. A scale that would reveal them as being blameless, not self-willed slow to anger, sober, hospitable, faithful to their position, and self-control. Talk to me somebody. Now I realize that some of our politicians may fail on some of them, but we all know a certain politician who would fail on all of them. Hmm? Talk to me somebody. But when it comes to being ruled by political leaders, we find that obedience and submission are tough enough without having to obey a lousy political leader. Yes, it's true that sometimes we find a need. We as citizens find a need and a right to protest against our political leaders for something they have fallen short of giving us. There's been a whole lot of that taking place in this country last year and also this year. Talk to me, somebody. Yeah, people in the street, marching, protesting. Talk to me, somebody. Are you all going to pray with me? Yes, 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 yes. So the thing of it is, is you have to take into consideration, we are not bound by non-resistance to leaders who fail to do what is right and then, and then expect us Christians to disobey God. No, no, no. Stay with me now. We must always put God first. Talk to me somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why in Babylon, that's why in Babylon, uh, Daniel resisted that Babylonian mandate not to pray to his God. Talk to me somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniel's talking about what you talking about. Nebuchadnezzar, what are you talking about? You don't want me to pray. Talk to me somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was not supposed to pray to his God. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, yeah, somebody ran and told the king that Daniel is still praying. Are uh, y'all going to pray with him? Talk to me, somebody. Yeah, Daniel in his abode would throw open the windows open toward Jerusalem, and he kept on praying three times a day. Talk to me, somebody. Are uh, y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, it ought to be so that we can pray. The Lord, the Lord has saved our soul and made us whole. It ought to be so we can pray. Pray without ceasing. Talk to me, let your request be made known unto God. Are y'all going to pray with me? Not to always pray and, and not think. Talk to me, somebody. Look at how many times God is telling you to pray. Talk to me, somebody. Because he knows what prayer can do. He knows that prayer will shake the very throne of God in glory. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, God is able. Yes, God is able. Yes, 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 yes. yes. He kept on praying. His daily prayers, refusing to be obedient to the heathenistic mandate of the Babylonian government. And even, my beloved, and even in the New Testament, Christians refuse to be obedient to that which would not put God first. For it's in Acts 4 and 19 where we find the Sanhedrin council, who was the religious rulers of the Jews, commanded Peter and John not to speak at all nor teach in the name of Jesus. 
Talk to me somebody. Y'all gonna pray with me? And what Peter and John response to the hypocritical authority of this council was whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God. You be the judge. But as for us, we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard about Jesus. Talk to me somebody. We have seen him. Yes, walk on the water. Talk to me somebody. We have seen him heal the lepers. Talk to me. We have seen him give sight to the blind. Oh yes, we've heard him preach. Chills run up and down our spines. He made a lot of sense. He had a lot of wisdom. We can't help but speak the things that we have seen with our own eyes and heard with our own ears. Talk to me somebody. Yes, 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 yes. For you see, my beloved, we have to take into consideration. So what does all of this say to us? It says to us that we should not allow the devil to cancel out our witness for the Lord. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the question is asked, do you have a witness? Are you exercising your witness for the Lord? Talk to me somebody. Amen, lights. <laughs> Amen, pews. Talk to me somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, 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 yeah. When, when, you see, my beloved, yes, when voting, uh, when voting, there is a need for us uh, to, to hold the candidate up to the light of the word of God and measure them against God's standards. Don't be deceived with some of these uh, candidates' speeches and over TV and, and over the line. Try the spirit by the spirit and see if they be of God. Remember, your vote is not only your voice, but it's also God's voice. Talk to me, somebody. And when I think of God's voice, my mind zeroes in on Isaiah 6. I'm almost finished. Talk to me, somebody. It zeroes in on Isaiah 6. The trinity of glory, the complete Godhead. One day was having a meeting. God the Father was present. God the Son was present. And God the Holy Ghost was also present. They held a heavenly meeting concerning an earthly need. There was no need to hold an election and no need to vote as to who was to fulfill the need. For it was in Isaiah's vision that he heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Are you all gonna pray with me? Then, then, then said Isaiah, here am I, Lord send me now my beloved all of the above information was said to expose the pressing matter of our government for you see as imperfect as our government can be in some instances it's oppressive and unjust but that do not hinder us it does not hinder us Christians or even present us from doing good. Talk to me somebody. Regardless of who is in the Oval Office. It does not hinder us from doing good. Are you all going to pray with me? If you pray with me. Yes everything shall be alright. It does not hinder us. I tell you. From doing good. Regardless of the election outcome. Yes, can we say, uh, like Isaiah said, uh, Here am I, Lord, uh, you can still count on me uh, to feed the hungry uh, and clothe the naked, uh, regardless of the election uh, outcome. Uh, you can still, Lord, uh, count on me uh, 
to still give to the poor and minister to the sick regardless of the election outcome. You can still count on me, Lord, to pray for the lost and witness to the dying regardless of the election outcome. Good God Almighty, you can still count on me, Lord, to submit to your heavenly authority and yield to your heavenly spirit. Good God Almighty, he can still, he can still count on me. Good God Almighty, I can't speak for you, but I can speak for myself. Good God Almighty, if I live to see November the 13th of this year, I will be 80 years old, four score years. Good God Almighty, I've seen a lot of presidents come and go. Good God Almighty, but my God saved my soul a long time ago. Regardless of who's president, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still going to keep on preaching. Good God Almighty, regardless of who's president, I'm still, Lord, I'm still going to keep on living the way the Lord want me to live. Good God Almighty, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still going to keep on loving all of my enemies. Good God Almighty, I'm still, I'm still going to pray for those who despitefully use me. Good God Almighty, ain't it all right? Ain't it all right? Can I get a witness? Ain't it all right? Won't he come and see about you? Won't he come and see about you? I don't know what you intend to do. Good God Almighty, can the Lord count on you? Can the Lord count on you? To still let your light so shine in this world of darkness, regardless to the election outcome. Yeah! Yeah! Oh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God we say. What a mighty God we say. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Ain't it all right? Ain't it all right? Won't he make a way for you? Won't he make a way for you? Won't he heal your body when you're sick and can't get well? Yeah! Won't he move? Won't he move? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I know he's able to do all things. Do you believe he's able? Has he proven in your life, in spite of what you're going through, the burdens may be heavy, the load may be unbelievable, but you got to hang in. You got to hold out. God is going to see you through it. Won't he do it? I know he'll do it. Praise the Lord. Jesus died on the cross. He died on the cross. Out of all the deaths that has taken place oh, upon the face of this earth, no death can be more precious than the death of Jesus on that cross. No death! No death in the past. No death in the present. No death in the future. Can be as important as the death that Jesus experienced on that cross. They took him down, didn't they? That's what the record said. Laid him in a bar of tomb. Wait no Sunday morning. Oh yes, there was a Friday crucifixion. But there was going to be an early Sunday morning rising. He was going to get up with all power. Oh. 
in his hands. Yes, I feel some of that power. I feel that power in my soul. I feel, I feel it. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Doors of the church are open. Maybe somebody here today needs to be reinstated. Somebody here today never been baptized. Maybe somebody here today want to join on your Christian experience. Whatever it is that you desire, come on to the Lord. Come on back in. Time is winding up. You know, time ain't as long as it has been. Yesterday is past and gone. And it's sad to have to say that some may not be saved. You need to come right now where you have an, op an opportunity. Is there one? Oh, yes. Oh, praise the Lord. Working power. Oh, yes. Is there another? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Is there another? Lord is waiting on you. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, there is. Is there another? Come on to Jesus. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavily laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Is there one? Is there another? All right. I know. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Is there another? Won't you come? Won't you come? Won't you come? Won't you come? Lord is waiting on you. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Let's give the Lord some hand praise. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now both of these uh, members, both of these individuals, I remember them as members of this church. Are you all here for prayer or you okay? Now, I remember you as a member. I don't know you, yeah, you the, yeah. the brother there. I remember you as a member. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So you, 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 you decided to come back to us. You know, just like a lot of them do. You do. You said something about being restored. I don't think you need to be restored, but we can if you want to. You see, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, people who are out because of COVID-19, and there's some people that have have left the church and had intentions of coming back. But I remember distinctly both of you. Amen, you see, when I, 
when I remember, when I can remember you. Sometimes, you know, you leave because of, your, of sickness. You see what I'm saying? You know, if you're, if you're sick, I can understand. And like I say, COVID-19, I can understand. But COVID-19 and 19 is uh, pretty much over now. But uh, like I say, I can remember you. I can remember you. In fact, I pray for you daily. And some of these people that are missing, I pray for them. The ones that I can remember, I pray for them. Amen. Daily. You came back because of prayer. But you was a, he's a member. He's a member. We're going we're gonna to ask uh, Deacon Walker to come and pray for both of these beloved people. Amen. Amen. Deacon Walker, come and pray for both of them. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us all stand. Amen. We thank God for the members of this church who have a desire to, to come back. You know, some of you I can remember, some of you I can't, but uh, I remember this beloved brother here. Amen. I've been praying for him. Amen. Amen. All right, Deacon. Deke, stand between the both of them. Somebody lay hands on the, on, on the beloved lady as well. Amen. Let us all unite our hearts and our minds and our spirits toward Deacon Walker's prayer for these beloved people. Amen. Most holy and eternal God, our Father, we thank you for another opportunity, Lord. We thank you for this privilege yes, to call yes, Lord, upon yes. your holy and righteous name. My Lord. Father, after hearing your word come forth with power and authority, O oh God, that you've given our pastor to preach God to our hearts yes. and to our soul, O oh yes, God. Yes, yes. Father, we thank you that you've touched this Touch gentleman. Lord. you touched this daughter. Yes, you yes. touch each one to yes. come forth and recognize that you're God oh, and yes, you're God Lord. alone. Yes. Oh, yes. Father, we take this full advantage, Lord. You say, come to you, O oh God, yes, yes, when yes. we have needs. And we come to you this morning, O oh God, asking you to hear our prayer, O oh God. Prayer. Yes. Father, we thank you that we only come to you because, Father, we can go no place else. Oh, yes, oh, Father, yes, we oh, realize yes. that we live in a world, oh God, that has happened before to the children of Israel, oh yes, God. Lord, yes. But, Lord, we realize that we are not using the example that you allowed your people to go into bondage, oh well, God. And well. we are allowing ourselves one by one to yes. go into bondage again, oh, oh God. Yes. But Father, we come, we yield, we call upon your holy and righteous. Yes, yes, yes. Father, we ask that you will pray for this brother, oh God. Oh, yes, and we yes. pray for his son, oh God. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Every, you know each one, yes. you have a plan for our lives. Yes, but oh, Father, yes. we reject your plan because father we sometimes go astray yeah, but father yeah. this morning we come and we yield and we call upon you oh god oh, yeah. we surrender all oh, to yeah. you oh god yeah, yeah. so father we ask that we stand here yeah. today yeah. oh father calling upon your holy and righteous name yeah. father we ask whatever the need might be oh I god we cry out to you, God. Oh, Come yeah. and see about us, Come God. About we ask these blessings upon each, and we ask yes. these blessings in the witness of this congregation. Yes. Oh, Father, we ask that you will bless them mightily, God. Yes, and when Lord. you've done all you desire each of their hearts to do and yes. my heart to do, Lord, we will say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Send me Yes, I will go for you. Yes. Oh, Father, we ask these blessings in the mighty name of Jesus yes. the Christ. And our souls say amen. 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 Let's give the Lord some hand praise. Amen. 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 Let us continue to pray for these beloved members uh, that the Lord will attend to their needs, give them the strength where they need strength. Give them guidance and direction where they need guidance and direction. God is able to make a difference. Yes, you've got to believe. Have that faith and believe that he will make a difference. He will. Amen. Amen. We just thank God. Let's give the Lord some more hand praise. We're grateful to Deacon Walker for that fervent 
uh, prayer. Amen. Amen. Let us continue to be mindful of our responsibility and our duty to pray much. Amen. Pray without ceasing. We're grateful to all of you who were able to take time out of your busy schedule to come and share with us on this another service, this another Lord's Day. Uh, I've had a good time. I don't know about you. I thank God. Amen. 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 Thank God. Amen. 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 Grateful to our ministerial staff and to the Fisher family, to our musicians, our choir, amen, our ushers, our nurses. We're grateful to all of you for coming out to help make this service what it has been. And we're still in good time. Amen. All right. If there's nothing else to be said or done, let us all stand as we prepare to dismiss from this place. Amen. Amen. Love. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Our loving Father, we come at the close of this and other service that you have allowed us to experience. We thank you, merciful Father, all that has taken place, all who have attended, Lord God. Thank you, merciful Father, for all of those, Lord God, who participated in the service. We pray that you would just now be with us as we prepare to dismiss ourselves from this holy sanctuary. Pray that you would give us guidance and direction if it is thine holy and righteous will. Protect us from seen and unseen dangers. Continue to be with us your blessing upon these two beloved people who came for prayer. Go with them and stand by them. Overshadow them. Merciful Father with your blessings if it is thine holy and righteous will. And then Lord God we realize that after a while and by and by when this dusty march is over receive us into your kingdom. This is our prayer in Jesus name and all God's people said Amen, amen. Shake hands with your neighbors and exit as you see fit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bless you. Come on, keep you my prayer.